pointing at Yong. What are your real names? Yong said. Yong is a unisex name. My name is Yong. The rest replied as he pointed to them. They have me down as Jamshet, but my name is Amardad, said one woman. They have me as Alton, but I'm Isla, said another, and the last woman said. I'm known as Oak, but I'm Mecca. One Yenyekova said to them, You must return for your interview, but I just wanted you to be you. As the women were walking away, a young man approached, but a man in the crowd forbade him. This man is gay. What should we do to him? One Yenyekova said, I'm nobody's judge. I don't know what to do but see if his heart is true. Everything else is up to Sabbath. One Yenyekova looked at the man. Are you not happy with who you are? and that's why you want to be someone else? For if you thought you were a woman, you would have come forward earlier, when I asked for the women to come who were dressed as men. The man looked down and said nothing. Wanyan Yekova looked at Jonathan. Jonathan stood up. I too would have had something smart to say, but I must admit that those days are past me, but as this book says, Jonathan held up the Torah. He without sin cast the first stone. Joan was stalked, and Wanyan Yekavu was proud of Jonathan as he turned to the crowd. Again, may I have your attention. I am not a judge, nor do I want to be one. Sabbath is the judge here. All sin is sin and neither is greater than the other. I look at the heart to see if it's good or evil. Sabbath loves and cares for every one of us, and he wants to separate the wheat from the tares. If you're gay, trans, bi, or whatever, I'm not looking at that, just your heart. I live my life according to my experiences in life, and my relationship with Sabaoth is a close and personal one. You can't live my life, and neither can I live yours. Your relationship with Sabaoth is your own. How dare I dictate your relationship with Sabaoth, according to mine? If you are evil and proud of being that way, just come forward and get on the ship, for I am already tried, and no need to see you, for there is no hope for you. You are who you are, selfish and greedy. A man came forward with his head held down while the rest walked up with pride. You. Why do you come forward with your head held down? Look at the rest. They are proud of who they are. There's a difference between being evil and feeling guilty for your actions. Come, let's talk. The man walked toward Wanyanyekavu, and he touched him. As I thought you are ashamed of what you have done, you're not evil. Go and have a seat with the others over there. Exhausted. Wanyan Yekova looks at the time that flashes on the wall, 9 a.m., as the last person he interviewed walks out of the tent. He stands and stretches and pops his neck turning to Daniel. That's the last of them. Looking over the notes Daniel took with his tablets. We are 63 strong. That means every one of us has six men to train, plus three leftovers. Daniel asks. What are you going to do with the extra three? Wanyan Yekova smiles. They will also be trained, but we need people for details like gathering and cooking food and other odds and ends. Even for 73 people, that is a lot, but as long as we are at this lake, there should be plenty of fish, and we can hunt for rabbits or something. Wanyan Yekova was tired and was talking with a slur as he was yawning. Tell everyone there's a meeting first thing in the morning. Daniel turned to bid Wanyan Yekova goodnight, but he was already asleep. So Daniel covered him and went on his way. At 4 a.m., Wanyan Yekavu and his men gathered together and reviewed the notes on the ship, as well as the notes he and Daniel had taken about the group of people. The intel pointed out that they cycled through this area every year, and they had nine months before a new group came to replace the old ones. A Benian B-6 was not scheduled to visit the area, so no one should look for him there. The crucial question was, what are they looking, or digging for? These were some unanswered questions. Were the drugs and alcohol present there genetically modified? How can the Abenians change human DNA, or was it something else they were trying to do? For hours, they discussed the matters at great length before they all concluded. Just when they thought they were finished for the day, Wanin Yekova said, Before we separate, we need an inventory of everything we have here. How many weapons? What kind of technology? Who knows this technology? How many horses? What kind of food is stored here? How many can fight and or shoot? 
and we need to eliminate all these drugs and alcohol in the area. But then again, the drugs and alcohol can be placed on the spaceship with them.